Yeah, I got a rear battery that's back here. That charges all the other batteries. Um, that Some of the systems will feed off of this battery. An inverter back here. There's electric shocking door handles that go through the inverter, so I can flip a switch up there and electrify the door handles. So, 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 so this is electrified? Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that's real weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so if a cop tries to like yeah, open the door, yeah, if he's trying to jimmy, are you reading the Constitution? Yeah. Open the door, and then you just get this yeah. really uncomfortable shock. As soon you as might you just keep him to stay away from the door handles or something. That's awesome. That's yeah. incredible. It's a uh, regular Mitsubishi Eclipse. Obviously, uh, you can see from today, it's uh, definitely looks regular. It's a dirty old car. You might expect a high school cheerleader to be driving this thing. Um, but there's a few modifications that uh, I put into it because um, I've had some bad experiences with uh, law enforcement. So, Can you uh, tell us some, about some of the bad experiences? Yeah, um, it's, I, I was unlawfully arrested in San Antonio uh, a few years ago. Uh, wasn't recording anything so ended up, you know, like so many of these things do, you know, just my word against the police officer. So uh, I'm engaging in court uh, with that police officer right now. Um, and then I've had some problems with the Border Patrol. Um, and again, the lack of cameras um, and those situations. Basically, all these things together, I, I came to the conclusion that, uh, you know, I had to arm myself with, with cameras to make sure that I, I knew uh, that I could uh, secure the truth of events. So um, when dealing with law enforcement, because uh, unfortunately, law enforcement's um, got quite a few bad apples in it and uh, they'll lie. Um, I, I think that, you know, for a bad cop, a bad cop's just gonna, you know, they're more interested in your subservience than they are the law. And uh, so you, you gotta have cameras to be able to document what really happened and so that you can show who actually broke the law. Uh, there's got about, uh, it's got four cameras on the outside, four cameras hidden inside this uh, rear view mirror. And then the ADR 3320 that's over there has two cameras. And then I've got a mounted iPad here that's got one camera, so. You're looking at about eight main cameras, two backup cameras, and then a streaming uh, camera from the iPad using Bambuser or Quick, one of those applications. Awesome, and, and how long did this take to set up? Um, well, uh, the armoring portion took about uh, three months. That was the longest. Uh, they had to uh, custom make the glass and stuff because, uh, believe it or not, there's not a whole lot of armored Mitsubishi Eclipses out there. So this is an armored one too? That's right, yeah. It's armored, uh, it's got bulletproof glass. Um, and then there's some uh, a fabric called Spectre Shield, similar to Kevlar, that's inside the metal. Awesome, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So, so, what was the main motivating factor to, to get all this? Well, the main uh, the main motivating factor for this is to just to be able to record um, the truth of events. So I've got cameras basically getting 360 degrees all the way around on the outside. Right here, this is a wide angle night vision camera, um, and it. Uh, it has a hidden microphone. You can see, I think it's hidden right up here. There it is. And these are great microphones. There's four separate microphones on the outside of the vehicle that are hidden, so all this audio. Then you've got all this stuff on the inside here in the audio, and it goes to a black box DVR system in the trunk, and then it streams that to the internet. So all of that information, all that data is secured. In addition to that, it, it'll, um, it actually records if your turn signals are on, if you're braking, if your doors are open. So it's tied into the sensor data of the vehicle as well. And all of that stuff gets streamed. It gets streamed to a remote server because, you know, if a car or if a cop actually does get into the vehicle and they want to make us, you know, the evidence disappear, they'll, uh, you know, they'll, they'll try to ruin the video or they'll steal it or they'll delete it. You know, and we see that happen all the time. And uh, so really you have to stream your data to make it secure. I mean, I, you hear about all kinds of bad incidents. Um, I mean, you've got, you know, women that are getting cavity searched and, you know, for, with no reasonable suspicion for any crime. Uh, you've got people that are getting shot in their cars. I mean, just the other day, you're down the road here in San Antonio, there was a fender bender between a man and a cop who was off duty. They hit each other. The cop, off duty cop, got out and shot the guy. Um, you know, I mean, this stuff happens all the time. You've got down, you know, remember in California when Dorner was running around, you know, you had cops that were shooting at, you know, women that were, you know, delivering newspapers. Um, it's, it's just gotten really out of control. And I, and I can tell you this, as far as the armory goes, I know that if I stand up for my rights and I refuse, uh, you know, the request of a, a cop who's breaking the law, who's violating my rights, who's pulled me over without cause, it could that could become a, uh, a serious incident. Okay. This looks like a really uh, just amazing rear view uh, mirror camera. Yeah. Uh, 
How, what is this bad boy? Because yeah. it looks amazing. It's the. Uh, it's actually called the AVR 360. Um, it's an undercover system that was designed actually by a, an undercover cop up in New York. He's retired now, um, but uh, his company is called Protect All Security, and I think you can go to protectallsecurity.com and you can you can find pretty much this entire system because it, it came from his company. Uh, the AVR 3360's got four cameras in it. You can see the two pinhole cameras that are on the side. Uh, then there's a camera that's in the glass here that's getting everything inside the vehicle. And then there's a camera that gets out the windshield. Um, that's the AVR 3360. Um, all of the cameras in this vehicle, the main cameras, they all are tied into the ADR or the uh, the uh, DVR rather that's in the back and that also came from protect on security awesome. and I see you have the hotspot up here the Verizon right uh, hotspot that helps you get Wi-Fi signal absolutely. as you're going across and then that goes to the DVR system absolutely and then the DVR system streams live exactly awesome right to the internet to quick bamboozer right. Ustream whatever it is now the iPad here I mean it not only probably serves as a GPS there's probably other uh, right. things that it does as well yeah absolutely if I go uh, here you can see I've got Bambuser right there is my, my quick link um, I've got quick there as well so Bambuser and quick this is right here is uh, is the is probably the best way for most people to uh, replicate the systems that I have in this car you can use a smart device like an iPhone a droid an iPad and you can use Bambuser and quick so that when you're recording it that you're securing that video so that you know if a police officer takes your stuff and he tries to delete it you're, you're, you're gonna be able to secure it you're, you're gonna have it he's not gonna be able to take it from you that Jaltech ADR 3320 that's probably the best unit in this vehicle and one of the great things about that is um, it's fire and forget you just you install it you forget about it until you need to see what happened with the with the video even though it looks like it's recording there it's actually recording to somewhere else so right now where it's at that unit's actually recording in my um in my glove compartment at the top there's a usb stick so no matter what happens it's never your word against the police you officers know. anymore yeah never <laughs> awesome uh can you get into the smoke screen I never plan on using the smoke screen. It's really just a toy for you know to make the car more interesting to get people talking about it, so that I can direct their attention to the cameras because the cameras are what matter. Yeah, um, and also the necessity to film police. Exactly, you've got to be able to prove the truth of events. So that's so the smoke screen's just a toy, but um, but yeah, there's a reservoir here that takes uh, transmission fluid, and then there's a switch in the front so I can uh, dump the transmission fluid into the into the exhaust, and it'll it'll smoke out the whole street. <laughs> yeah. I, I I can never ever imagine ever using that. Yeah, so, but but it's fun, though. But you never know. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you never know. It's better to be safe know. than sorry. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty bad day, though, if you're, if you're contemplating having to uh, use a smoke screen. You know, all the cameras, the armor, the bulletproof glass, all that allows to me to make sure that I can secure the truth of events. So whatever happens, the truth will come out. Allow me to, to just... Um, not fight when I see violations of the Constitution here at home. Um, these are our freedoms. And we talk about, you know, going to combat to, to protect the freedom of the American people. Well, freedom, you know... Where there's pepper spray spr spraying everywhere, we got goggles. Now, other than the goggles, we have a little walkie-talkie. Uh, right now, I'm working by myself, but usually when I have a partner,